What's up, man? My name is Bennett Game Marco. I'm young and I'm great. Okay, a little about me. My name is Bennett Game Marco. Uh, from Atlanta, you know, rapper, singer, performer, artist, you know. I ain't always know what I wanted to do, period. When I was in uh, elementary school, I wanted to be a firefighter. Middle school, I wanted to be a massage therapist. <laughs> in high school, I was just lost. I was like, I know I don't want to go, I know I don't want to go to college. School went for me, period. So I just started doing music, like following the wave, I guess. And then 12th grade, after 12th grade, really, I decided that I wanted to stay doing music. A key life lesson that I learned is to not give up. Um, like, when I had, uh, I had signed my first deal for my, my record, I had called Nasty in 2014. And it was like, the record was like building fast. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was building real fast. And uh, I had signed a deal and I didn't like the deal I was in. And I, I really like stopped pushing the song. The song supposed to went way further than it went. It was on MTV. I didn't even post that. It was on MTV because I didn't like the deal. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even want to promote the record no more. Like, I didn't want to let that person earn money from my record. You know what I'm saying? But that kind of really hurt me. But I started giving up on music, like, as a whole. Like, I was like, forget this. Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to do something else. Like, some, back to the junk I started. You know what I mean? The bandit junk. But I stayed, stayed doing what I was doing. I started dropping more tapes. and You know what I'm saying? More money started coming in. And I finally got out the deal, so don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Stuff change. My advice to other artists, upcoming artists, is to not rush it. You know what I'm saying? Don't rush the process. Because it, it, it'll it happen regardless. You know what I'm saying? If you keep going, you keep putting in the hard work, it'll happen. Don't rush the process. Don't, don't, don't jump for the money. You know what I mean? Not so early. Don't do that. See, the thing is, I really don't really have a lot of family. You know what I'm saying? I really just got my mama. So she found out around the time I dropped NASA, like 2014. She found out like probably five years, six years later that I was doing music. And she was like, that's you? I was like, that's me on the radio. She was like, for real? She, she gave me that. She didn't even know I was really doing music Pe until like people at her job started coming up to her. She used to work at a school. They were like, you banning game, Marco, mom? And she was like... I had people coming up to me talking about you bandit gang marker. She didn't even know about the bandit gang, none of that. Like, she was just like, damn, like, you know what I mean? It started to hit her like shit. That's so awesome. It wasn't really like no how they felt. She just ain't know. You know what I'm saying? She was happy and shocked when she found out though. Yeah. I don't feel like you need a story. I just feel like you need you need the heart. Like you need passion, to, you know what I'm saying, to be successful. As long as you got that, you can be successful, you know what I'm saying? No matter what you're doing and who you are, you can be successful. I think hate <laughs> give me motivation to, to keep going, you know what I'm saying? And to strive harder. Like, it's been like people I used to talk to, like exes, and they be like, that's why you ain't gonna go nowhere. Lying that nigga, like, I'm bad for the cussing, but that, that's like the most motivation like to me, like, I could say names like two people, but I ain't even gonna do all that. But two people is what motivate me. And even when I was shining the most, I still ain't like shine on them, like shit on them and then, but that's still like the most motivation to me. Like that it's people out there just thinking I'm not gonna make it. Even though I've been doing it for years, but I'm, I still ain't lost the thought of my dream. You know what I'm saying? I ain't lost the sight of that. I wanna, I wanna, first I wanna, feel the top, you know what I'm saying? I wanna feel it, and then I wanna put other artists on. My goal is to be, I guess, like a top record label or something like, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna shine forever, I guess, and nobody really can. I wanna just put other people on, you know what I'm saying? People I know who deserve it, who been grinding for it. That's my goal. Actually, I had my own label, but it was built the wrong way, so I had to, I had to dissolve it, so. I'm planning on starting another label. I got a couple of deals on the table, so once I get in my deal, I'm gonna start setting up, you know what I'm saying? I'm setting it up the right way. How it started first 
is the people who I was with, the team I was with, we all started together. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the deal that I got into, that we did, we got into it together. So it, the deal was inside the label that I started. And, uh, and the contract that I signed had something to do with my label. You know what I'm saying? So it was all messed up from there. You know what I'm saying? So to get out the contract, I had to, to dissolve the label, which killed everything. This time, I just, I'm going to focus it on me, morally on me. You know what I'm saying? Last time, it was a team kind of record label thing. I'm going to focus it on me, marketing myself. You know what I'm saying? And have my fans too. You know what I'm saying? It's just more based on me. And then once I get myself where I need to be, then I focus it on the other artists I have on the label, you know, you know, investments, that's something I want to get into. I haven't took a step towards it yet because I'm not sure what I want to invest in. I wanted to do uh, real estate, but I'm not sure how to do it yet. You know what I'm saying? I was going to get into it, but it's just not time right now. It was time 2015 when I had the nasty, but I went smart. You know what I'm saying? But I want to get in real estate. Please invest in something, because I was just buying cars, jewelry. I was just buying a whole bunch of, man, expensive dumb junk, man. Invest first. Invest first. And then do what you want to do. I'm learning from my past for sure. I made a lot of mistakes with everything. Music, relationships, <laughs> money, cars, <laughs> everything, like Everything I did, business, everything. I'm, I am learned so many mistakes. Time is very important, you know what I'm saying? Money and time is very important. And it's kind of almost the same thing to me, you know what I'm saying? It's so similar, like money and time. If you don't have the time to do it, how you going to spend the money to do it? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you get what I'm saying? It's kind of in a sense, like, if you have the money to do it, but the time... But don't have the time to do it. It's like, it's the same thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like either or. You got to have both. You can have money but no time and still can't do it. Or have the time but no money and can't do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's both the same thing, kind of. You can't do either without the other, basically. If I had one superpower, what would it be? It would be to uh, teleport. And, and that's because, I say that because just like the money and time thing, I can be at two places at once. You know what I'm saying? I can get more, more done. I can get way more done in less time. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be to teleport. First, find a passion. If it's what you want to do, then have passion for it. Love what you do first so you can take the, uh, the criticism. You know what I'm saying? Love what you do so no matter what nobody else say, you, shit won't affect you. Uh, make good work. <laughs> Cause it's people without a lot of, but <laughs> uh, what else? Be consistent. Be consistent at all times. I've been consistent. I've probably dropped two or two or more videos a month in ten years straight every month. Be consistent, and I think that's it. A quote that I feel like everybody should hear, learn, uh, is lesson learned tables turn. Like, whatever happens, whatever situation, learn a lesson from it, but know that the tables will turn. You know what I'm saying? In your favor, though. Make sure y'all go and check out my mixtape. It's gonna be streaming everywhere. I'm gonna have it on my mixtape, Spotify, that Piff, Spin Rilla, my mix, everything. Make sure y'all go and check it out. It's called Bandit Game Marco. I'm trying to focus on myself. You know what I'm saying? It's called Bandit Game Marco, dropping March 26th. Make sure y'all go and get that.